This is John W. Whitehead, author of A Government of Wolves, the Emerging American Police State, bringing you a message about the state of our nation. What is most striking about the American police state is not the mega corporations running amok in the halls of Congress, the militarized police crashing through doors and shooting unarmed citizens, or the invasive surveillance regime which has come to dominate every aspect of our lives. No, what has been most disconcerting about the emergence of the American police state is the extent to which the citizenry appear content to passively wait for someone else to solve our nation's problems. Yet, if we don't act soon, all that is in need of fixing will soon be unfixable. That said, how can anyone be expected to fix what is broken unless they first understand the links to which the government is going in order to accustom the American people to life in a police state and by being spied on by government agents, both state and federal, as well as their partners in the corporate world is a problem, even if you've done nothing wrong. It may well be that the electronic concentration camp, as I have dubbed the surveillance state, is perhaps the most insidious of the police state's many tentacles, impacting almost every aspect of our lives and making it that much easier for the government to encroach on our most vital freedoms, ranging from free speech, assembly, and the press to due process, privacy, and property by eavesdropping on our communications, tracking our movements, and spying on our activities. The question now is, will we take a stand and fight to remain free, or will we go gently into the concentration camp? For more information on the Rutherford Institute, visit us at www.rutherford.org.